draw and an open and straight draw. Oh, there goes the twitch again. The shoulder's going up. And Phil still has the ace high. It's the best hand right now. He checks. Johnny, do it. Do it. Push the button. Well, uh, he's got a draw here. He's got a big draw. Now, now, before you saw Phil Ivy do this, the semi-bluff, you saw Devilfish do this, and it's been successful. This works in big-time poker. Can he pull the trigger? Johnny checks. No. no he doesn't. The river card comes and now comes hearts. a king. Now both players Four have made a straight. Ten of spades. Phil Jack Ivey has made the ace high straight. Of Queen of spades, king of Johnny has made what we call the sucker straight, the low end of the straight. Oh, this is a disaster for Johnny. Well, not necessarily. Let's see what happens here. Now Phil is going to bet it. Bet he bets twenty-five thousand at the pot. If Johnny calls us, he's going to lose a pretty good pot here. Well, I believe he could have taken this pot at any stage. If he'd have bet the flop, he'd have bet 4th Street. Now what's going to happen is he may call a bet where he's going to get the losing hand. Played a little timid there, and that came back to haunt him. Gave Phil Ivey a shot of beating him. And that's what he's done right now. He has the better hand. It's going to be hard for him to put Phil Ivey on an ace. He would have thought Phil would have raised with an ace for the flop. He's calling it. But Phil shows down the ace, wins the pot. Which makes an eight. Ace nice bet straight. by Phil Ivey there at the river. Johnny shows the and that's a bad hit for Johnny Donaldson. Place. That's that old river card just getting washing another body right downstream. And well, Vince, they say you live by the river, you die by the river, and there's no place you feel that more than at the poker table. That's true. Saving the best for last. It's all about the river in this edition of the WPT Poker Corner. If you live by the river in Mississippi, you might have a beautiful home with a gorgeous view. But if you live by the river in poker, you might find yourself betting the farm on a house of cards. The river has busted me out of about $4 million over the last six months. Just another card, no big deal to me one way or the other. It's just numbers and the cards are just paper until you turn them over. The river is the last community card placed by the dealer on the board. It's the Texas Hold'em version of the bottom of the ninth with two on and two out. It's just the difference between winning and losing a couple million dollars a year. It can be the last chance for glory or the final stop on the long or short road out of the tournament. The river card. Whichever way it flows may decide whether you win or lose. The river is going to be my best friend this tournament. But if you make a habit of living by the river, well, you just might end up getting soaked. So Johnny Donaldson having some trouble pulling the trigger at times. I think what's going through Johnny's mind right now, Vince, is that there's big difference in the prize money as we move up from here. The next guy out gets 145000 Second place gets over 290000 And the winner, of course, gets almost $590,000. So... I think he's sort of biding his time. He knows if Phil goes out, he moves up 150000 in real money. Well, John's got a pretty good hand this time. He's got ace three of spades. Well, he's the short stack. He's going to have to make a move. Johnny but he just calls. He does not raise with the ace high. The devil fish quickly calls. The devil fish has eight queen. He just calls. And Phil Ivey has queen three of hearts. Three and he pot. just calls. So we got a three-handed pot right here, Vince. Here we go. The flop and comes. there it is, queen 10-7. Oh, Both seven of the Devilfish and Phil queen Ivy have flopped the top hearts, pair. Let's see what happens here. The Devilfish checks and Phil Ivy checks. Oh, That's same. amazing. Both players Devil check the top fish pair. Checks, Both got queens checks. in their hands. What the heck well, is Johnny? Johnny just has ace three. Look at this. He has put it all in there with ace high. He's going for a bluff move here. Johnny Donaldson has moved in. The and devil fish quickly goes all in over the top of him. Goes over the top. So he's really putting Phil on the line here, too. Well, now think about this. Phil is sitting there with top pair. And he throws away the top pair. Nice lay down right there by Phil Ivey. I believe you got me, fish. A rough time to bluff for the underdog Johnny Donaldson. 
Johnny's got ace trash spades. Double fish has queen eight for the top. Will card. the bubble Double burst queen. here? He's going to have to catch an ace or a running king and a jack to stay alive in this tournament. Johnny needs an ace or two runners. Or Johnny Donaldson will be out in third place. Let's Turn see what happens. Four. A four Johnny comes off. Yeah, it's not going to help him up. yet. We're down to the river card. He has to catch an ace or he will be our third place finisher. He needs a miracle. River card's a five. And it's a five. He doesn't do it. Double fish wins the box. It is over for Johnny Donaldson, the building contractor from Arkansas. You're a gentleman on a poker player. I'm glad to know you. I'll see you down the road. What a great performance by Johnny Donaldson. He got in this tournament on a $200 satellite. He's taken home over $145,000. He should be very proud today. He showed a lot of character against these poker all-stars. So stay with us as Phil Ivey battles David the Devilfish for the WPT title. Good morning. Hmm. Absolutepoker.com. You in? Welcome back to the final stretch of the Jack Binion World Poker Open. They're bringing out the final money of the whopping $1.4 million that these two finalists, David the Devilfish Elliott and Phil Tiger Ivy, will be playing for. This is for. a uh, bowl that's over 200 years old from here in Mississippi that they used to make bread in. Now it's carrying the real dough. They may be taking a chance letting the devil get his hands on it. That's right. Don't get it too close to him. You may not see it again. Maybe a million three when they count it up. Big chunk of it anyhow. Well, now we're going to see if Phil Ivey's strategy also, has paid off. He has played very conservative for him today. But I think he, his mission was just to get down, to play heads up, to give himself a chance to win this tournament. He has done that. Let's see what happens, Vince. Oh, you paid you? Okay, that's, that's fair. Then. So, Mike, look at that cash out there on the table. Looks like someone's been doing some gator poaching. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. We're down to the two superstars of the poker world, Phil Ivey and David the Devilfish Elliott. Blinds and antis have just gone up, Vince. It's $2,000 ante with $10,000 and $20,000 blinds now. Now, the big blind is always in front of the button. It's in front of the dealer, so Devilfish will act first here. Heads up play. Look at this. Devilfish has got a pair of nines in his hand. Big hand heads up, two nines. He comes out, he bets 90000 Phil Ivey's got a king and a five. Okay, devil fish king raises, five suited. Ninety thousand. Remember, this is the same hand Tommy Grimes went out on after Devil Fish raised it. He called the raise. Let's see if Phil Ivey calls the raise here. Don't forget, you got to loosen up the game even more when you go heads up. And Phil lays it down. He's going to wait for a better spot. Yes, he is. He's going to take it down. That's a wise choice. So the Devilfish wins that pot. Devilfish wins a pot. You've got that off to a tee now, Phil, anyway. Well, Vince, they've been playing for four days. The cash is on the table. We're down to the final two. The title's on the line. But I'll tell you, Phil's got his work cut out for him. He is down a lot of chips at this stage. He really is, but this is a brilliant poker player. If anybody can come back, Phil Ivey can. Well, and no limit holding him. If he just doubled up a couple hands in a row, he'd be right back in this match. Okay, he's got a four and an ace. And heads up, any kind of ace is a pretty good hand. He's just going to call this. Now that surprises me, I'll tell you. Devilfish check, so we're going to see a flop. Now Devilfish has a four and a five in his hand. Here comes the flop. Ace 10 3. Now, this gives Devilfish a straight draw, a wheel draw, but it gives Phil Ivey the top pair, two aces. And here comes the Devilfish betting 40,000. He's just messing around. He just has that inside straight draw. Phil's got a real hand. He's got aces. Phil Ivey has gone all in over the top of the Devilfish. Here he goes. He has done it with two aces right here. Devilfish is going to go away. He's swimming away. He's out of this pot. Phil's going to pick up a nice pot here. All right, that's the first step. 
It's the first step of a long journey, but it can be done, Vince. People Double have come back from far greater deficits than this to win these tournaments. Well, Phil, Ivy would love to take down the man they call Devilfish. He's swinging back hard, but this Devilfish would like to put the final pitchfork into Phil's side. Well, the Devilfish has got him down. He certainly doesn't want to double him up here. But believe me, Phil is going to fight for all it's worth to capture this title. Phil Ivey looks at his hands. He's got a King 8 offsuit. He calls on the button. The Devilfish looks at a 5 6. He says, check. We're going to see a flop here. Okay. 5 6 against King 8. Oh, Whoa, this. what a flop. Wow. It's 8 7 3. The Devilfish has flopped an open end straight, but Phil Ivey has flopped the top pair. Absolutely. He's got a legitimate pair, oh, and he's going to bet it. Eight, the Devilfish seven, checks, three, and Phil Ivey bets 20,000. Look at this. Devilfish is going all in with his open end straight. And Phil Ivey quickly calls him with a top pair. Oh, this is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. For the Devilfish to win this pot, he's going to have to catch a four or a nine. Right now, Phil Ivey is a favorite to win this pot. If he does so, he will double up and be a force in this tournament. Classic battle of hands. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a four. That's it. It's over. Devilfish makes a straight on the next card off the deck. He needed a four or nine. The four pops right off. He is outdrawn, Phil Ivey. Doesn't matter what comes on the river. There's no. no card that Phil can win with. Our new champion, Devilfish. Only Huge outdraw for the Devilfish. He's going to take Devil this title Devil. and the $589,000 first prize. He just led from wire to wire at the final table here. Great plan by David the Devilfish Elliott. The Jack Benyon World Poker Open 2003 champion. And now, to our runner-up, Phil Ivey. Our champion, Devilfish Elliott, cheers the winner of the Jack Minion World Poker Open.